geometry. Here are your construction videos. I'm going to do them in four parts with the construction on each one. So in this video, I would just want to discuss how to construct an equilateral triangle and briefly talk about the tools that we need. Now we've used these tools in geometry. We have our compass and we have our straight edge. And whenever we're using a these tools for constructing, we do not use the measurements. I'm just using the straight edge. And that is because these constructions are made to prove all the properties, some axioms and some, or some postulates of geometry just by using these math tools. So we're gonna be using the idea that on your compass, you have a circle that has a radius of this length. And you know, as we've done in class, you can actually make circles with our compass. And so instead of using the increments on our ruler to measure congruency, we're gonna be using the space in between and comparing measures as if we're saying that the radii of one circle is congruent to a radii of another. That's the idea of constructions. Straight edge, compass. So we've done this construction of an equilateral triangle a lot in class. And one of the things that I've noticed that this is that you really want to make sure that you start the construction with a given segment. So here I'm just going to start the construction. I'm going to construct an equilateral triangle here, but I need a starting segment. If I don't have a starting segment, then I don't really know what to connect. And I was noticing that as I was going around and showing some of the students um, in the last few days. So we want to start out doing this construction by making our radius of our compass to be the same as the length of the segment. And when I say radius of the compass, I mean the space between the point of the compass, the metal point, and the pencil. That's what I mean by radius. The other thing that you want to do is you want to make sure that you're just delicately making an arc. This is not, as I said in, in class, this is not war time, this is not intensity, this is tea time. We're being delicate, even, you know, see, look, see, we're holding our delicate china teacup, okay? Keeping the same radius, go to the other point and make your arc. You can hold the compass down here. Sometimes that works a little bit for control, but do not hold the compass like this because if you hold the compass like this, you're gonna move it. If you hold the compass like this, you're going to move it. That's why I suggest you hold the compass on the top or you hold your compass here. You're, that way you're not touching this movable part of your compass. The other thing too is if you can see on your compass there might be one or two screws here. You might want to get one of those tiny eyeglasses screwdrivers and um, have one in your pencil pouch so that as your compass gets loose you can tighten it. I'm going to go ahead and bring my uh, screwdriver into class, next class, so that those of you who need the, them tightened can do that. But that might be another tool to have. Once you have your intersection point of the two arcs, you can connect those arcs. Now, the idea that we have here is that we've actually essentially drawn three circles. The first circle was invisible. The first circle was, I'm sorry, uh, two overlapping circles that have the same radius. So as you can see, if, if I were to continue these circles that I drew, then you could see that you have Oops, wrong side. One circle with the radius AB centered at B. Another circle with the radius AB centered at A. 
But then the other two sides of this triangle are the other, or another radius of each circle. So this radius here, AC, is from the circle A. And this radius here, BC, is from the circus circle B. And since we use the same radius, these radii overlap between the two circles, these are equal radii. And that's how you get this equilateral triangle. And to show that they're equilateral, the symbol, we use a little tick mark here. So we have equilateral triangle ABC. All three sides are congruent.